Buckle up, Paraland, because it's time for science. Now today, we're going to be working with matter and talking about mass and volume. Mass is the amount of matter an object has. So another way of thinking about it is how many atoms a particular object has. This ball is made of atoms, and so therefore it has a certain mass. There's only a certain amount of atoms that are in this ball. There's a certain amount of atoms stuck inside this foghorn. There's only so many atoms inside of this corn syrup. So mass is the amount of atoms or the amount of matter in an object. Volume is how much space the object takes up. So it's how close or far together the atoms are. Particles in a solid, for the most part, are close together. They don't move very much, but they move very, very slowly. So they sort of stay together. Particles in a liquid are a little bit farther apart and they move a little bit faster. And that's why liquids are usually warmer than a solid. And particles in a gas are usually far apart and they usually move a lot faster than a liquid or a solid. And that leads us to our experiment for this week. So for this week's experiment, you're going to need the following items. First, a plastic cup. It needs to be clear so you can see through it. You're going to need some water, just regular liquid water, and you are going to need a marker or something to mark on the cup. So the experiment's pretty simple. All you need to do is fill the cup with some liquid water. For this part, you're going to want to set it onto a table so that it is perfectly level, and you're going to take your marker and you're going to draw a line onto the cup. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the temperature of the water and we're going to do that by putting it in the freezer. Now don't put it in the refrigerator, put it in the freezer so that it turns into solid ice. So what I want you to do is that I want you to make a hypothesis now. Will the water go up? Will it increase in volume? Or will it go down? Will it decrease in volume? Or will it stay the same? Either way, I want you to make a hypothesis now in your notebook on if it's going to go up, down, or stay the same. Again, we're talking about the volume. Tomorrow, I want you to look at it. So today we learned that mass is the amount of matter an object has, and that volume is how much space it takes up. Be sure to send your pictures to your teacher so that they can see that you have done this activity at home. And until next time, stay awesome.